Utrecht. So apparently that's how you say it. I don't know. Uh, Brian, with you, game common. We are playing more Civ 6. We're continuing with our Netherlands campaign and our stare down with Norway. So yeah, things are going okay though. Things are going okay. We need to start getting uh, some more cities up here pretty quickly. Um, so probably as soon as we finish this theater square, we'll probably want to go ahead and swap. Yeah, probably swap out. Now here's the question. Right now, we only gave you bishops, so you're just 100% pressure. Grand Inquisitor is not the worst thing in the world. I'm really wondering if we want to go for Citadel of God, or maybe we should go for gold or something like that. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and reassign you now, the Utrecht, uh, just to have you uh, in position. And then we're going to assign you into our capital, just so we can get a settler next turn. Um, I kind of feel like we should keep bringing up our swordsmen as well. I mean, if you're going to go do this war, let's go ahead and get all our troops up here. We probably want to start grabbing some, uh, uh, go for knights here before too long as well. Just get extra power on the board. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, so we did get an extra level. The question is, do we want to go production towards holy site buildings? Or would we rather grab plus two gold per citizen in the city? Uh, right now that's only going to give us four gold. Or eight gold. I mean, eight gold's pretty significant. The reason we would do... I keep clicking the wrong one. The reason we would do this is so we could get to Citadel of God. So we could basically hold on to our city no matter what. Our religion, at least. The problem is we need another governor title for that. And I don't think we're anywhere close. We're about to get alliances, but no governor title. Then we'll go feudalism with no governor title. It won't be till we get medieval fairs. And honestly, both of these will probably get knocked out pretty quickly after that. So I think at this point, let's just grab the gold. Because Grand Inquisitor doesn't do anything for us at this point. So this does something. And hopefully we can just hold on to our cities. We're almost to 400, so we can get our apostle and we'll be in a better spot there. We want to grab that so Harold can't be suzerain. So we don't have to worry about that in a potential war. And we can switch our policies. Right now we are on defensive buildings, which is helpful here. But we might just chop that out at this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to chop that out. So what else would we like? We could grab the unit maintenance. Production all cities. We are about to work on a settler, so we'll keep that. Produce, uh, reduce the cost of purchasing tiles. Yeah. Production towards builders? Are we working on builders? I think let's just go for the cash. Let's just save some money right now. And then you'll chop out the walls. That went up to 20 turns, but uh, we'll be able to probably chop most of those walls out. Okay! That is more than a few units. <laughs> uh, he's up to 800. That is not at all scary. No, no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We good. We good. Not at all concerned for our lives here. So this is our cap. But oh, this is not our capital. You need the th amputator, please. And we'll go from there. Uh, I kind of want another builder here. What about Theater Square? Commercial Hub, Campus doesn't really do much. I think I'll just pop a Theater Square there. Yeah, because we could put a Holy Site then here. Or a Campus there. And it'll get another plus one being adjacent to two. I'm fine with that. Okay, we good there. And shop. So that put it down to seven. Also helped us grow, which is always nice. And then we'll go grab the cocoa, which we could probably sell. Hey, Alexander. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Honored to meet you. We needed to meet someone else. So this is awesome for us. Can we be friends? Let us be friends. Too early to be friends, but I do have crap to sell you. So pay me money for this. Yeah, give me open borders as well in here. Sweet. Sweet. So with that extra gold, we could get a builder. I think instead what I want to grab is I think we're going to grab another heavy chariot. We'll just put you up here. Just so we can upgrade you to knights as soon as we finish civil service. Uh, two harbors. We got one turn there. We got five turns there. So harbors are incoming. We're good. Uh, got plus three era score. Nice. Nice. We need to convert some of these cities too. Uh, we're not to 400 yet. Uh, settler, please. Thank you. We could be using money for builders or settlers or something like that. But at this point, we kind of just got to roll, I think. Uh, you're going to build a temple. And in fact, we could buy a builder here, chop out, put a mine, uh, and then get that uh, temple knocked out a little bit quicker. You, I think, can go back to auto-explore. There's still, I think, one more person left. You want to be friends too, right? 
Yeah, there's still one more person. How is... Are you at war with Japan? Yeah, you guys are at war. Uh, It doesn't look like you have any of his cities. And it doesn't look like you have any of his cities. Alright. Powers are about equal, too. Okay. Cool. Well, let's advance. Pull and denounce Japan. Why? But okay. Norway's denouncing me. Acceptable. Acceptable. I think I want to move you over here. Just in case. <laughs> in case he surprise wars me. Because, I mean, here's the other thing. At least where we're at, we maybe can stay right there. We could have gotten shot from the sea. So let's just be a little protecting. If he's denouncing me, that means he's likely thinking about a war in a couple turns. Alright, so that was Coco. Now, the thing is, we just use all of your income. Although, you're making 80 gold per turn, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. We can make some money back from her. Now, I don't really want to take all her income because... If Norway doesn't declare on me, who's he going to go for? But then again, this is a really nice trade deal. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. We'll take the gold per turn. Now only plus 181, so that's not enough right now to uh, buy a builder or anything. I think we'll buy a builder next. I think we'll buy a builder down here and go chop out that hill. Civil service is giving us governors. And we got the production. We didn't. This is still production towards builders, right? So yeah, we're not missing anything with the builders. Temple, Artemis, and Apadana all got built. Sounds fine. And you just fortify there. That's not where I wanted you to go. But whatever. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We could upgrade them as well to swordsmen. I'm a little less concerned about that right now. Japan and Toronto declared war. So Alexander, I'm assuming, just took control of uh, Toronto. Hopefully that's a good thing. <laughs> we need this cartography, man. We need this cartography, man. That's a lot of troops. That's a lot of freaking troops. Promise made to you by Polish Empire to stop converting has been fulfilled. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Speaking of which... Also, please. Please don't have debater. That actually worked out quite well for us. Yeah, that worked quite well. Debater? 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 Dang it. Uh, do the extra spreads. And hopefully you attack me again and then I can finish you off next turn. Okay. This fan is freaking crazy right now. I don't think you guys can hear it, but it's making a lot of noise. In fact, I think I'm going to bump it down. Give me one sec. Shut up. Okay. Man, it's like really hot in this office, so I was really hoping to run the fan. But the fan's like broke or something, the ceiling fan. Like, you can't take it above low now. I need to bring my other fan in here. All right, you suicided. That You died straight away. Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that helps convert my city. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. We got seven turns, and we got to flip some cities, guys. Yeah, we can't even, like, we can't even afford to heal you up right now. We need to flip these cities. Um, that should have been plus two error score. Can we get enough to get a golden age? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, it's a possibility. It just seems highly unlikely. We don't really want to build a harbor here because that's going to be a great uh, boulder location. Theater Square? You got your walls. Give me another builder first. Yeah, let's get another builder first because there's some bananas and just in general, we could use some builders everywhere. Probably when civil service is done, uh, we'll switch over to builders because the settler's there. And I think we were building multiple builders. No, we we're, oh, we were going to buy a builder. That's what we were going to do. Okay, and you go shop that. How's this looking? Scary as always. Cool. Colossus got finished. You are here to convert. Really? Really? Well, we won't have the Dark Age, at least. We got that going for us. What does this look like? Frick. How many turns? I have to. I have to convert you. I have to. So now we're not going to get the Dark Age. Although Twilight Valor would be nice. Yo, what are you even thinking about right here, dude? What are you even freaking trying to do? Can we buy another unit? We can. Do we want to buy another unit? 
kind of. So the problem is, I think even with the swordsman, yeah, it's going to be really hard to take these cities. We need knife. We need crossbows, too. Whatever. Pyramids. We're about to get more trade route capacity. And we'll send that over to Norway, and that should help. Um, Apostle went over here. Okay, let's try catching you. And then city, I think we want to go here. We could also go here, but you're going to get crapped in really quickly. Uh, we could settle on the wheat, but we'd just get rid of the wheat. I think I'd rather just go here and be done with it. I got a nice little uh, holy site theater square or something. Oh, also, by the way, you guys mentioned, and I was dumb, uh, Temple Artemis can't go next to cattle because the cattle is uh, not the camp. I always forget that. I always forget pastures and camps are different things. So we will go theater square here. Because uh, we're going to switch over to Builder, I think, next turn. Build production. Although we're not building that many builders. But we probably should. Like, we'll build a builder here probably when you're done. Maybe even up there. So, I think that's fine. The other options, maybe we want a builder here. Meh. Because we could have gotten a mine there. What do we want to do after this? So we got a harbor here. Do we want a harbor there? Because that's a polder location. I mean, that's a really good harbor, though. Can't do the polder anyways. Uh, theater square is what we need everywhere. Where would we put the theater square? We don't want it there because that's going to be a mine. We got a plus two right there. From the adjacent river. What? <gasps> mm, they get major adjacency bonus being next to a river. That's right. So we really want it here then. Yeah. And then we could put the Arnheim one right here. Oh, actually, the Arnheim went up there. Hmm. So if we swapped you, you're 150. Okay, let's do this. I think I am going to build it here. But for now, let's finish this guy. Like, we could finish this builder here. We will, um, we're going to build a mine there. And I think we could go chop it out there. And then that will also help give us a little bit of production towards our theater square too. I think that's fine. We might want to then look with our builder to go chop out the amphitheater here or something like that. This amphitheater that wouldn't be a bad one to chop out either. Uh, where did Norway go? I don't know. He ran away. Poland's over here, too. We got three spreads. We should be able to flip you. Yeah, we might as well flip you and be done with it. Okay, you're gonna go there. You're gonna go there. We were gonna go grab the specialty towards the builders. Please, 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 please. There you go. Set of settlers. Production all cities still seems fine. It's a little bit. It's not a lot, but it's, it's, it's adequate for us right now uh norway moved away nice nice okay we're good there cartography is almost done civil services done so we got alliances so okay here's the thing if he moved away from me that means he's going for poland Poland is highly underpowered right now. Extremely weak. So we could ally with Poland, but then we'll get pulled into that war with Norway. The advantage is most of Norway's troops will be over there instead of us. But I just don't necessarily see us taking these towns. Like, look at this. This is nothing. We're just so far behind. The problem is, if Norway conquers all of Poland, is he going to get overpowered? Maybe. Maybe. But what's he going to do? Science victory. There's no way he's going to do a culture victory. And I bet if we look at culture... Yeah, we got to worry about Japan more than anyone. He's making 106 culture per turn right now. Can we talk about that? Can we talk about that just a little bit? We need to get a reliquaries. We need divine right because we need uh, Mont St. Michel. Probably need to look at shopping here pretty quick too. Uh, one, two, three, three. Mm-hmm. And then three. And that's going to be seven turns. 
Hmm. So we're gonna have to finish this as quick as possible. Nay. Really, dude? After everything you did. After everything you did, now you're you're talking to me about this. Okay. Well, let's move some people away. At this point, I think we're safe to move some guys away. You can go here. You can go there. You can go here. You can go back there. Uh, hello. And this is inside my city, so it should be fine. I think if you're in your board, I don't know. No, it doesn't matter if you're in your borders, does it? So you're still growing. Three turns. You might be able to finish this amphitheater before Divine Right finishes. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. The Mont is supposed to go right there. The Mont. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to grab that real quick because I don't trust you. Not one bit. And then you're here to convert. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then you're here to go shop. Also, thank you. We need to get these theater squares going, guys. God, we're so far behind, man. And this is the problem. Like, we had to spend so much production right now popping out all these troops. It just put us way freaking behind. And that sucks. Straight away. Absolutely terrible. Okay, I want to keep your last two probably, just in case. Also, we would love to go pounce on the survivor of this. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is all fine. That's all fine. We could get another builder right now. We also need to buy both of those tiles. So I think with Divine Right, we're going to want to grab the cheaper purchases. Unfortunately, they're going to get more expensive as soon as we hit the next era. As soon as we hit the next era, they always go up in price. But we're going to need them to chop. I think I'm going to grab you and then maybe use you to chop. Something like that. Remember, we're about to get another guy out. We definitely want another builder, though. Maybe we should have bought that before. Yeah, I think we could have bought that before. Oh, well. Okay. We It's not like there's anything else we could do right now. So, uh, Theater Square? Yeah. We definitely want Holy Site, Commercial Hub, stuff like that over there. I'll throw you here. That's fine. We can chop this out at some point. And then you guys are just fortifying up. We also need cities, man. So probably with Divine Right. Man, because we're going to build a settler there. we got to build settlers elsewhere now. If, Mon if the Mont's going to go there. Alright, we ended up in Normal Age. Uh, as did Alexander. Everyone else is in Golden Age. Okay, well let's do Districts at this point. Getting that Religion one wasn't a good one for us. Probably just because we weren't making enough faith to get enough Apostles up. That's what really just kind of hindered us. Can we kill you? Now, we are in uh, our religious territory. So, ah, you're freaking right there. But that should still be okay. All right, so you chopped out. That means we also... Oh, we could have bought that. We were going to buy that. Ah! We could have done more damage. We could have done more damage. Oh, well. Oh, well. Go grab the fishies. What are you even working? Yeah, you're working the fishies. We can go grab the pearls, too. I just don't necessarily want to buy that tile. You're going to get over here. Uh, we got two turns now on the Mont. That sped up quite a bit. Nice. Nice. Get me industrial zone. We want production. This is our only trader out right now. I have to go back to Norway, man. I have to go back to Norway. There's just no production, though. I'll go here for science and culture, though. Uh, all right, you died. Perfect. Perfect. So we're going to go put you inside the city here. Because we can protect you. Uh, you can't get attacked inside the city center, and you will be able to heal because you're right next to the holy site. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, Norway. Uh, by Norway, I mean Poland. Dang it. Stay away. Leave me alone. I don't want your crap, man. I don't want your religion. So divine rights coming out next turn. We can't afford to buy those two tiles. That's okay. The Mont. So if you're wondering what we're doing, the Mont Saint Michelle is going to give us uh, relics. 
And then what we're going to be able to do, because we took the uh, the religious policy, we get triple faith from reliquaries. That's great. And then number one, uh, number two, we don't lose uh, any religious pressure due to theological combat. So we're just going to basically go suicide a bunch of our apostles. This is essentially going to be our plan long term and get a bunch of reliquaries. So or a bunch of relics to put in our reliquaries. OK, I think. The thing is, we could buy the pearls. We could buy the pearls and then sell them, right? Probably. Probably worth it. Do we have anything to sell? No, not right now. We could also go grab the cocoa. Might be worth more. Can I do this for like 20? What about 10? Five? All right, there you go. Here's five gold. <laughs> So that would have been 30 freaking gold or five gold. Listen, I think I'd give them five. Buying in pawns, distributing swords. There's no basis for a system of government. We did not get our amphitheater, which is very unfortunate, but I have to go with the mon. I have to go with the mon. Okay, then you are going there. You were going to go up for the cocoa, I think. And we could also go to then shop that as well. Yeah, they'll be fine. That'll be fine. We can buy one of these. Do we want to grab the cheaper purchases? Oh, we can actually go to Monarchy, too. Uh, Monarchy... Sucks? It gives us extra housing. That's about all we can say for it. The problem is we're going to lose one of our yellows. But we wouldn't need conscription there. Do we only have two right now? We need the wonder one for sure. And we still don't have the theater square adjacency bonus. We have to go grab that one as quick as possible too. Um, production towards builders? Probably? Yeah, I think production towards builders. So let's go grab it. Man, I just don't like monarchy all that much. Give me plus one amenities for garrisoned units. Should make my people happy. We wanted the Renaissance Wonders. And production towards builders. And then literally it doesn't matter. Because they're all terrible. Like none of them help us right now. Extra navy units. We're just going to do the extra, just in case. If he declares war on us, guess what? Although, maybe we should go the Navy units just to build them, but I think we'll build another builder up there first. So, Mont St. Michel is at 45 turns. Oh, we were going to get the cheaper purchases. Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I'd rather have the builder one. I'd rather have the builder one. How's our gold? Our gold's pretty efficient, and we only needed to buy one more title. That's fine. And then there's feudalism. Sweet. So, you're here to chop. 36 turns. It's probably 50-50 on grabbing the Mont. Probably about 50-50. The thing is, there's a lot of times the AI just can't build it because they just don't have... Because uh, it has to be built on a marsh. So a lot of times, like, marshes aren't the most common thing in the game, usually, with how I play. So that's why we can get it pretty often. You're getting there. Also, we're looking at, what, like, four chops? That's a lot of chops. And we had Magnus there. <laughs> I just freaked out. I was like, <gasps> did we put Magnus? Yeah, we did. We're good. We're good. We're good. In fact, I don't know. Well, we got a chop here. We could actually just go easy there, but uh, we're like, what? Next turn, we can chop that one instead. So, okay. Good, 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 good. Give me another builder. Once again, we're boosted. Oh, trade routes. <gasps> Dang. Because we could get a bunch of production right now. We could get an extra, like, three, six production. Mmm, man, we need money. We need money, guys. We need a lot of money, guys. You piggies. We have olives, but you actually have our olives. 14 more turns. What about Poland? I'll take it. I will take it. How long are we at? 24 minutes? Okay. Probably need to wrap this episode up here. Probably going to keep it a little shorter. I got a lot of crap to do. Sweet. 250? to 30. Okay, we'll go there. So that gives me a trade route. 
and we'll go straight production. Let's do one more turn, then we'll wrap this episode up. Next episode will probably also be a little quicker, too, so... So, we move all our troops off his border because we're trying to be nice, and then he goes and declares on us anyways. Yeah, how about screw you, dude? How about screw you? Well, guess what is going to happen here? Wake up. Piss off with your religion. Uh, we don't have knights yet, do we? We also never upgraded you. Take care of you. We can take care of you. I hate that this guy's probably dead. And there's nothing we can do about it. Now, this is a hill. So, theoretically, this guy is... No, like, there's no way he can shoot him. Also, we can't shop now. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game. Alright, let's go shop here. I think if we do this... And we do that. Now you're going to probably still get hit twice. You're still going to be in a bad spot, aren't you? Dang it. Dang it, dang it. We can upgrade to Caravel as well. Which would give a lot more combat strength here. We're not going to be able to take anything. The goal is basically not to die at this point. You're going to go with Battering Rams? Seems like a not a great idea. Well, we should have allied with her. Hi. You want to do a cultural alliance? 150? Wait, does she want to pay me anything? 10? Yeah, she'll pay me a little bit. 50? 40? God, that sucks. All right, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here, so hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, comment, and show your support. Do you want to join my ongoing war? Maybe I can't do this in the alliance trade deal? now. Alright, well, I'll see you guys next episode. Bye, everyone.